Hey, Mom, she needs water. Okay, I'm just filming. Um, why do you have a package of frozen hot dogs on your hand? These? Yeah. Because I burned my hand. <laughs> what? On what? What? <laughs> Burned on two places actually. I burnt it on a curling wand um, here and here. So you're using frozen hot dogs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's whatever works. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> yes, I burnt my hand and I guess decently too. I don't know if you can see it or not, but right there, and then right there. Hurts like a son of a gun. Did you get your water? Yeah. Hi, Hi. Trouble. Ah. Hi, Spiky. Okay, let's go. You're coming with me. Let's go. Yeah, get lost. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, who are you talking to me and the cat? both. That's nice. <laughs> I love you. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who may be new to me, my name is Kristen Walton and today I'm going to be unboxing my David's Tea subscription box. The Tea Tasting Club, which is the name of the box, is a quarterly subscription. It's $35 Canadian for each box, and each box is tailored to each season. This happens to be the fall box. As I said, each box is $35. However, you can skip, pause, or cancel at any time, no strings attached. This is my second box. My first was the summer box, and I really, really loved it. I received eight teas as well as color changing cups and straws. And I'm really looking forward to what is in here. Ooh. Okay, so I have a new canister. Oh, great. This is a pack of 20 tea filters. And they're just like that. Oh, okay, so we have some sample teas here. I love, love, love this flavor. It is so good. It's a little bit tart, a little bit sweet, but every bit delicious. It is so good. This is pomegranate, tart and luscious superfruit. This is a white tea. So there's another sample in here and this is definitely a flavor that is not new to me. This is s'mores chai. It is so toasty, nutty, and delicious. I love it so much. But I'm also a really big chai fan. I love, and I love chai, especially in the fall. There is nothing like a cool, crisp morning and a hot, and tasty chai tea. Sometimes with foam, sprinkling of cinnamon on top. Oh, and actually chai lattes are good too, as well as iced chai lattes. In my last David's tea order, I actually had this in the cart and then I took it out because I said, how many more of these do I need? And yeah, so Fate apparently says that I need at least one more, so. This is a tea diffuser. Well, all you do is you put one or two perfect spoonfuls of David's tea or any loose tea really into this and then you set it into your cup of hot water, let it diffuse, take it out and discard the leaves. Oh, this makes me want to boil the kettle right now. This is honeycomb chai. I have not tried this flavor before. I'm really, really happy about that. Oh, okay. Next is a wild grown Rubios. Wild honey and nutty. Oh, 
I haven't tried this before either. I am so happy that I'm getting teas that I haven't had before. Oh! Now this is something Kira would really like. I'm not a huge fan of orange, but this is dark chocolate orange. Ooh, citrusy and rich indulgence. So this is a black tea. Hmm. Okay, next. Ooh. Ooh, I haven't had this either. So this is coffee purr rich dark and energizing oh i like the energizing part oh another new flavor for me this is blueberry pancakes this is a fruit infusion maple syrup and blueberry i am so happy with this box so far oh Anybody who knows me knows that I love Earl Grey. It is a perfect morning tea, in my opinion. I love it so much. I really love it on my Sundays when I sit down with a nice hot cup of Earl Grey tea. I don't care that it's summer. I still have hot Earl Grey. And then I watch Coronation Street. I used to watch it with my mom. My brother watches it. Mm-hmm, yeah. It is a great show. And if you haven't watched it, you should. Anyways, back to the tea. <laughs> this is pumpkin Earl Grey, and this is a black tea. Mm, mm, mm. Very excited. Okay, so next is, this is a new tea to me. This is candy apple, and it's a black tea. Mmm, fresh candied apple. Oh, what amazing fall flavors. Now I'm even more excited for fall. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the last item in the box and the last tea flavor. So this is, this is new to me. This is Sleepy Lychee, fruit infusion, sweet, fresh, and fruity, just like me. Hmm, really happy about that. Hmm. And just like the previous box, on the inside has all of the brewing instructions for each tea, as well as a crossword on the bottom. I do want to mention that on the back of each package is the brewing instructions for both hot and cold, as well as the ingredients. Okay, that's it. That's everything that was in this month's box. Yeah, I'm just really, really happy with this fall box. It's a great box, has great teas. I'm so happy that I have another infuser. It's bigger than my other one, so that's awesome. And I'm really excited about these new flavors to, to try. And I have a feeling that I'm going to be starting the kettle very shortly to try these guys out. I haven't had a candy apple tea before, so pretty darn excited to try it. I would definitely say that this box was worth the $35. I'm really, really, really happy and super stoked to give all of those flavors a try. If you gained value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to me and you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you would join my family. And don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified of when I upload new content or when I'm going live. Thank you so much for joining me in this unboxing and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on filming. Bye for now. I think I bent my pancreas. Hopefully I don't punch myself in the face. Oh, I didn't need that though. Oh. I am a teaspoon. Oh my God. I'm a teaspoon. That's real nice. It's okay, I have four extra.
and I'm really excited to find out what. And this first aid kit was brought to you by Walmart's brand Great Value Jumbo Beef Wieners. Ha, 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 ha.